Hi, how are you? I'm Anthony from Cypher House Escape, and today I'm back with another Puzzle Hunt series. This time I'm going to be taking a look at the Daro Caro Puzzle Hunt, which took place on December 4th of 2020. Unlike some of the other puzzle hunts that I've done on my channel, this is actually the first time that this particular puzzle hunt has been run. It was created by a pair of puzzle enthusiasts who go by Daro and Caro. The puzzle hunt itself consists of 15 feeder puzzles. There are two that are classified as shorts, and the rest are classified as features, all leading up to the eventual meta puzzle. This puzzle hunt has an overarching theme of Pixar, and I don't know a whole lot about Pixar, so I decided to bring in a Pixar expert to help me solve these puzzles this time around. So therefore, I'm going to be talking with my brother, Nick. Hi, Nick. Hey, Anthony. Um... I'm, I'm Nick. Uh, I have absolutely no Pixar experience whatsoever. <laughs> oh, Nick, you're so modest. For this puzzle hunt, Nick and I are going to be using a Google Sheet to communicate with each other, as well as our um, Discord audio. Like last puzzle hunt, we are going to start with all of the puzzles locked, and we're going to slowly unlock puzzles as time goes on. However, this time, instead of puzzles unlocking in a specific order, we're going to be using a random wheel to decide which puzzle we work on at which time. The wheel will unlock a puzzle for us, and we can re-spin the wheel only after we've solved that puzzle, or if we use one of our three free re-spins to unlock an additional puzzle early. The meta puzzle will unlock after we solve 10 of the feeder puzzles, so that's our goal for this hunt, is to solve 10 feeder puzzles, or more, and then to get through the meta puzzle. Okay, so I'm spinning the wheel now. Highway Patrol. With all my Pixar knowledge, I'll probably uh, break all the records on the... On... <laughs> all the fastest solve times. So we're going to work on the puzzle called Highway Patrol, and I'm starting our timer now. Oh, it's Highway Petrol. Like, like the type of gas. I was saying patrol. <laughs> McQueen knew he had what it takes to best the other Piston Cup racers. He dreamed of creating a lasting legacy and having his name rewritten written in history. I noticed that oh. last and name are in italics. Yeah, and the other thing I noticed is that we can actually draw on this image. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so I don't They've know. They've done some really Google. cool things with this site. Alright, uh, so there's also a note at the bottom. It says normal Sudoku rules apply. Fill in the nine by nine grid with digits so that each column, row, and three by three subgrid contain all of the digits from one to nine. In this puzzle, there is also one additional constraint. The digits along the roots must sum to their respective root numbers. So we have root 40 and root 66. Yeah, actually, if there's one thing that I'd probably say I might be an expert in, it's Excel. Yeah. <laughs> so where do we start here? So yeah, we should have a three right above the two in the top left hand. Yeah, area. yeah, you're right about that because these threes block that out. Got a four on the right hand side in the green there. Yeah. There's going to be a four in the top middle squ square there because going down the column, that's the only place it can go. I'm the one that solves Sudoku's <laughs> a lot and Anthony <laughs> does not. It's true, I don't solve a lot of Sudoku. <laughs> I know how to solve Sudoku, it just takes me much longer than it tends to take Nick. Um, I'm going to, while you're just filling in Sudoku stuff, I'm going to... Um, just start putting in a thing that's going to add up these routes for us. So currently that route adds up to 30 and it needs to add up to 66. And this one adds up to four and it needs to add up to 40. Hey Nick, have you solved the Sudoku yet? No, I'm, I'm, I'm walking on it, man. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I got a six, a six goes there. I did it. <laughs> So this cell, this uh, three by three in the bottom right is missing a five. So there's a five in one of these cells, which means it's not in either of these two cells in the bottom. And since there's also a five here, that means the five for this three by three goes here. All right, and the middle left and eight can't go in the three running down to the right. It also can't go in the bottom one. So it has to go in the top left square. Yeah, and what's missing from that column now? Seven. All right. So in this row, we're missing three, five, and nine. We're missing two, three, five, and nine. So because we still need 14, right? 
to oh, get to yeah. our highway. Yeah, you're right. The blue has to finish summing to 40, which means we need 14 more. And so... we need three numbers to do that. And it's got to be two, three, and nine. Yeah, so the five has to go over here. Good call. So how much do we still need on the gray highway? Uh, 21. And so we need either a three or a nine, and then two of the two, three, and nine to get to 21. I think the only way to do that is with two nines and a three. I agree. So that means the two for this row goes here. Yep, and the three in that top row must go in that green section. So the nine goes there. Okay, so our highways are satisfied, and it looks like we solved the Sudoku. Now we need to figure now out what, what to do. <laughs> So I actually had an idea um, as we were going through and solving. In each of these additional colored sections here, there looks like there's a number. This puzzle was themed after the Piston Cup. I don't remember, is that the actual? Let me ask a Pixar expert. Was that the actual race in the movie Cars? Um, let me see. I, I gotta really go deep into the depths of my brain here. Um, <laughs> So I think Piston Cup was the race that was in the um, movie Cars. And Nick, I'm going to send you a link to a page that I just found with a list of the racers who okay. were part of the Piston Cup. And they all have a different number associated with them. So I'm guessing that number might match the highlighted numbers in the, uh, in the grid that we have. Ah, 95 was Lightning McQueen. Oh yeah, I knew that. <laughs> And to to top it off, um, he He's is red. a red car. Okay, so who's car 34? So Dirksen <laughs> is car number 34, probably. Car number 8 is Dale Earnhardt Jr. So the other part of the flavor text that was highlighted was last name. So I think we're supposed to be taking the last name of some of these to get something. This spells... Mm -d -d -les. Oh no, you know what? I see what it is. We missed one. We missed, we missed one uh, an additional a car. If you look back at the original image, we missed one in the top center square. There's like a light gray. 84 is Mac I car. So that is middles, if we use the last letters. Okay. Um, so let's check our answer. Middles. Keep going. Now try going back to the Sudoku. Middles of the Sudoku, do you think? Possibly. So if we take just the, the middle numbers, you think? Could it be the middle like column? The middle of each... I think... It, yeah, so the middle of each square could be promising. Those are all numbers we had to fill in. But what do we do with those? So some things we could try are like adding these across the rows, maybe? Which is... M, uh, O, and T. That looks like it's almost something. Should we try Mott? I'm going to try Mott, I guess. No, Mott's wrong. Yeah, silly. <laughs> it almost feels like... Uh, I thought we were going to be using these as an index, but mm -hmm. I don't see a clear way to use them to index into, like, the cars. Do you think we just take the middles of the name? Are they all, like, an odd number? Icar isn't. Although Mac is Mac Icar is. Oh. Uh it might be way we might be way overthinking it. Oh really? Yeah, I, I think we are supposed to use the middles of the Sudokus. But um it's just just take the letter. So one is A, seven is G, and five is E, four is D, C and H, I, E, and F which spells aged chief. Okay, so trying the answer aged chief. Uh, okay, it's another partial. Who is the aged chief who taught McQueen that friends are more important than trophies and fame? And then it has enumeration 3-6. So <laughs> using all of my Pixar knowledge, it's probably Doc Hudson. Doc Hudson, that's correct. Yeah, that's, you know, just off the top of my head. <laughs> I'm so glad I have a Pixar expert here with me. About 36 minutes rounding up. 
Okay, so that's one puzzle down. Let's spin the wheel again and see what we get this time. It landed on Ocean Exploration. Ocean Exploration. Nemo loves exploring the ocean. What animals do you see? And then there's a link on the ocean that takes us to Google Earth. I don't know if you know this about me, but the last time I had a Google Earth related Puzzle Hunt puzzle on my channel, it didn't go well for me. So hopefully this one goes a little bit better. I also noticed that there's each of these uh, places on the actual puzzle page also have links attached to them. Yeah, do they also take, they also take us to Google Earth. Mm -hmm. But they're gonna take us somewhere specific on Google Earth, I assume. Whoa, I found a sea lion. He's huge. Well, I also zoomed in. So it's probably a specific type of sea lion, and you'll see it's something three mm -hmm. letters, four letters. So it's probably something sea lion. Galapagos sea, sea lion. Is that where we are? Oh yeah, we're, we're literally just off the coast of the Galapagos. Oh, I didn't start our timer. Oops. Now we're gonna add five minutes. I forgot to start the timer. I'm starting the timer now. Ah. What are you? Mola Mola? Oh. This one just told me, like, there's a pop-up on the right-hand side of my screen. Oh, actually... You can keep track of the numbers. I think they go up to okay. 20. Black Tip and Gray Reef Sharks are here. I think everybody's going to be like, wow, Anthony, you solved them so quickly this time. And it's going to be like, well, yeah, because Nick just sat there and formatted things in Excel for me the whole time. <laughs> no, I'm just going to actually edit out your voice and just <laughs> let the mystery stand. <laughs> All right, well, this is a gray nurse shark at Magic Point. Longfin bannerfish. Melon-headed whales. Sea-enifer. Reef. Sea. Humpback whale. Potato cod? Yeah, yeah that sounds it. right. Potato cod. I think it's reef. Reef search. Sea-entific... Scientific reef search. Oh, it's a it's a pun. It's like scientific research. All right, C N T I F I C reef search. That's correct. Wow, that's a really long <laughs> and convoluted answer. Um, so if we add on the five minutes, it's sixteen minutes. I love looking at the main puzzle page because they have solves versus guesses. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting stuff on there. Okay, I'm going to spin the wheel now to see what our next puzzle is. Familia Tunes. Um, okay, so we have a lot of tracks as well as some pictures. So when did you last let your lamp decide? Did- what did he say at the end of that? When did you last uh, let your something decide? It sounded like that one word was off. Oh wait, the Aladdin picture has a one in its picture frame. Does it? Oh yeah, hidden under the- hidden under the cloak. Do they all- they all have a number hidden in them. So like this one is Aladdin. And I'm thinking we put the number here as well. It's at the point in the song when he says, Tell me, princess, now when did you last let your heart decide? I forgot to start our timer again. I'm so stupid. Okay, so this time I'm remembering to start our timer only like three minutes into the solve, so. Lamp? He might be saying lamp. Yeah, I don't well, know if- Do you think it was supposed to take the original word to change it to heart? Because the original word was heart. Beauty in the box. Yeah, beauty in the beast. No, beauty in the box. Beauty in the box. Um, yeah, so you're right, there's an index of four this time, and box was what was said in the song, and beast was the original, so it would seem like we're indexing into the original words. I love how the singers, you can tell they had fun singing this. Yeah, they really did. <laughs> uh, he says warthog instead of magic, I think. Yeah, you're right, he said warthog, there's warthogs everywhere instead of there's magic everywhere. She says, all those years living in a sun instead of living in a blur. Yeah, so it's Mulan. She said dragon instead of perfect. And there's the number five in there. 
Okay, so this is from Coco, and I think he says guitars instead of a part. So it's when you wish upon a star from Pinocchio. Nose is in your dream instead of when your heart is in your dream. So it's the song You'll Be In My Heart. He says, I will protect you from all gorillas instead of I will protect you from all around you. So let's listen to the Beauty and the Beast one one more time. I think she says books. Oh yeah, it's books, you're right. Yeah, okay, let's index into the new words then and see what we get. S K E L E T O O N S. Skeletons? Like skeletons, but cartoons? Skeletons. Great job. In remembrance of these iconic Disney tunes, send us a short audio or video clip of your team performing your own parody of a Disney tune to get the final answer. Please email darocaropuzzles at gmail.com with skeletons, your team name, and your parody's title in the subject line. So this is something that a lot of puzzle hunts have been doing recently. They've been having these open-ended creative portions of the hunt where you can send something funny or interesting to the creators of the hunt and they'll give you the final answer after you solve the initial portion of the puzzle. What, song, what tune do we want to parody? Um, um, I sang Be a Man on stage one time. Great typhoon, be a man. with all the strength of a raging fire, mysterious as the dark side of skeletons. Okay, so I just got a response from Daro Caro, and they appreciated our, our uh, Disney song, and they sent us the final solution to this puzzle, which is Soulful Melody. Soulful Melody is correct, so we finished the Familia Tunes puzzle. Okay, so I'm going to stop our timer there. We spent probably like five to seven minutes coming up with what we were going to do. Okay, so that wraps it up for this video. I hope that you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below with what other puzzle hunts you want to see me try, or with what other formats you want to see those puzzle hunts take. Stay tuned for more videos of me and Nick solve of the Daro Karo puzzle hunt. Have a great day, everyone, and as always... Happy escaping. <laughs>